Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's that time again. Time for me to rank up another champion. I actually did this rank up a little bit ago. Um, of course, it was during the level up. And this one was a long time coming. I should have taken this guy up a long time ago. But if you want to guess who I took up, pause the video right now and leave a comment with your guess. But I'm about to reveal in five, four, three, two, one, and it is Venom. All right, so while I'm ranking him up, I'll tell you why I decided to take him up. So uh, later in the video, you're gonna see some gameplay. And I have been actually using Venom since the variants, I didn't have a five star and I brought in a four star Venom and he wrecked. Then when I got the five star, I was so happy and I took him uh, all the way up to rank four and he was doing work for me at rank four, but I kind of pulled him out when I needed him. He has some great utility against Spider-Verse champions. They can't evade him. All right. Uh, but recently, the most recent variant, he is an MVP for that last chapter. And I'm going to show you why later on in the video. All right. So uh, we took him up to rank five and you can see his uh, stats and everything right now. And we're going to go into Realm of Legends first. Got to do the traditional beating up on Winter Soldier so you guys can see. Uh, what he can do and you can see I'm going in there with no synergies whatsoever. I am running suicides All right, but you know, it's a pretty standard fight uh, You're not gonna see any of that utility because he's not going up against a spider-verse champion But you will get to see his damage Now venom has a lot in his toolkit, you know, he gets these buffs and so he is actually very useful for many different situations. I have max deep wounds because I tend to use Nick Fury a lot, either in AQ for the Do Not Bleed path or in Alliance War. Uh, but that also helps Venom. So you'll see those bleeds and you'll see how long those bleeds last. And they're doing quite a bit of damage. All right, now this isn't a video to show you how best to use Venom or anything like that. Uh, but I just wanted to showcase his damage. I will show you his special three as you see here uh, You'll see his special two and towards the end just so that I you know do it. You'll see his uh, special one uh, He also has an armor break on his heavy. You're gonna see that in action quite often uh, a little bit later on as well but uh, not that long ago I Had a Nexus six star crystal and in that crystal, there was a six-star Venom and a Doctor Strange. I chose Doctor Strange. And a lot of people were like, why would you do that? Well, at the time, I didn't have a five-star Doctor Strange. I did have the five-star Venom. I wasn't ready to focus on my six stars just yet. And so the five-star rank four Venom was doing okay. This was before the uh, latest variant dropped. So I have seen just how useful he is in many different situations and I've been using him more. And every time I used him, like I was using him in that variant uh, for my initial clear. And I wished he was ranked five because it would have, you know, just sped the fights up a little bit. You know, um, he didn't need to be ranked five to do it, obviously. Um, but I really would have liked to have him at rank five. I haven't seen Venom again as a six star, but if I do, you know, I'll pick him up, but I probably won't rank him up uh, anytime real soon. All right, but I like Venom. I like Venom before they did anything to him, I like Venom, okay? Um, he was just fun. I felt, you know, empowered almost fighting uh, with Venom. All right, so that was uh, Winter Soldier. 
Uh, he was down in 140 hits. Uh, not too bad. You can judge for yourself. Again, that's with no synergies. All right, so now we're going into variant. This is the latest variant. All right, and we're going to look at the nodes. You see the team I'm going in here with, and these are the synergies, you know, more memory. That's the synergy he has with himself. Uh, this one, more crit rating, so he'll crit more often. Um, he's got 6% more attack and more critical damage. All right, so he's going to crit just a little bit more, do a little bit more damage when he does. Okay, uh, the extra genetic memory uh, is useful. He can get one more buff, okay? But check this out. Uh, and if you watch my variant videos, you've already seen a lot of this, but look at the nodes. The one to really watch is that madness, all right? Uh, so first of all, Venom does get an armor up, so that genius also is in, in play. Uh, madness... He gets an armor break on his heavy, as I told you. So combined, when he has an armor up, he's going to be draining their power. And when he does an armor break, he's going to power lock them. That makes for a great combo. And you'll see what that allows you to do in a minute. Uh, just in case you haven't seen my variant videos. All right, so I get a parry and I do a heavy right off the bat. You see I have a armor up. And you see that the power burn, but he's also not gaining any power because he's power locked because I have that armor break on him. Now I got him in a corner and it's over with. Uh, most of the time, the reason you can't do this is because you'll give them power. And as soon as they have a special one, they're going to intercept your heavy with that special one. And you're going to get wrecked. But because the armor break does a power lock, and because his heavy is a guaranteed armor break, they're never going to get any power as long as he's getting that heavy off on them. All right. Now, this next fight, uh, I want you to notice something. And I do it knowing what's going to happen. I've already gone through this. I watched uh, KT1 also do this. And he got wrecked. Because just this fight, she recovers very quickly and attacks you before you can get that heavy off. So watch for that. All right, so first you always wanna do a heavy on her to get that digi cloak on cooldown anyway. All right, now I'm just putting her in the corner. You know, she's bleed immune, so I can't do any of the bleeds, but just look at this, all right? So boom, heavy attack, right? Now I'm wanting to bait that special out. Okay, she's not gaining any power at this point, right? So I got another armor break in, all right? Get her in the corner, all right? Boom, armor break. And I'm gonna do it in a minute here so you can see it, armor break. And then look at that, she got me. And I was ready for it, but I wanted to do that to show you why you can't just do the heavy spam against her. Uh, because she will pop up and just attack you. Uh, very quick on that. But, you know, just adjust a little bit. You know, play it safe. Don't try the heavy spam against her, and you're good. But you can see how useful Venom is even against someone he cannot apply a bleed to. He's still doing great damage. Okay? Now, of course, there's the global, so you're doing... You got a, you know, damage boost there anyway. But Venom is just a beast. Now, none of these guys evade. And they're not special uh, Spider-Verse champions or anything like that. Uh, so you can't see that. But those fights, honestly, are just straightforward. You know, they make whatever fight uh, that would normally be difficult against a Spider-Verse, let's say, um, Spider-Gwen. You know, uh, Corvus, with the Proxima Synergy, can get up that True Strike, but he can't handle her. She will evade on him still with that up. But against Venom, she cannot. So, you know, that can't touch this node in AQ, he's beautiful for that. He makes all those fights just regular fights, okay? Uh, the only reason this fight is taking this long, of course, is because he glances a lot, uh, Captain America Infinity War, but it doesn't matter. You can do this all day. And as I mentioned before, he didn't need to be ranked five to do this, 
but this fight is over faster than it was. And the faster the fight can be over, the less chance of you making a mistake. Because when you are doing even this kind of heavy spam, you know, uh, I don't know about you, but for me, my mind will start wandering and I'll just do one slow, heavy, and then it's over with. So I want the fights over as fast as possible. All right. Uh, so here I'm just checking to make sure that the path that I was doing uh, to showcase that little thing there, heavy spam, continued to the left and not to the right over there. And uh, uh, this is going to be the last fight. We're not going to do the whole path, but you can see that Venom is very useful, uh, especially in this variant. But he's useful in others as well. Uh, in the, I think it's the variant 2, or whichever one it was uh, with the uh, micro, uh, mystery in the micro realms, I believe. Uh, because he's extra large, he doesn't get his attacks glanced. So he is an MVP for that one as well. So there are just many different places where he's good. And it was almost criminal for me to leave him at rank four. You know, even if I get the six star, that's fine because I'm not going to take the six star up to rank three anytime soon. So a rank five, five star Venom is perfect great for me all right but that's gonna do it guys uh hopefully you enjoyed this little showcase of venom at rank five and i talked a little bit about what he can do in other areas so take care click like su subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day